Welcome to the studio. Look at the size of this thing. It is freaking huge. This is the brand new FL Sun S1 Pro, which, like I said, it looks just like the S1, but there's quite a bit of change that's taken place. Before we get into this, make no mistake about it. This Delta is incredible. And I think that this year, like 2024, I really think Deltas came into their own. And I really feel like even in 2025, Deltas are a serious contender for top of the line machines. Um, I kind of feel like Deltas before just weren't there. Like the software wasn't there. Um, the user experience wasn't there. And maybe the hardware just wasn't quite with it. But now I think Deltas are a serious contender for top of the line printers uh, right next to Core XYs. And we're going to get into that. But first, uh, let me say uh, thank you to FL Sun for sending this machine over to us. Uh, we have the T1, we have the T1 Pro, we have the S1, and we have the S1 Pro now. FL Sun is seeing this at the exact same time you are. Uh, this isn't paid for. They sent me the machine uh, to keep and to share with you. And I'm going to try and be unbiased as I can. But here's the truth. Um, we all have biases. I love certain 3D printers. And I'm telling you, I am falling in love with these Delta machines. And you're about to find out why. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. I am just going to simply try and convey to you in the best way that I know how it just how amazing uh, these Delta printers are now and what you can expect from them. First, we'll start off with the size. It is ominous. Look at it. This thing weighs 90 pounds. That's nuts. And uh, check this out. Watch. Go down. Look at this. Ah, it is huge. It My bench won't even go low enough from where the camera is. It is here at a frame. Look at this. That machine is monstrous. So we'll take it back up. Unbelievable. Uh, its build volume is huge. It's like 320 millimeters in diameter and then it's about 430 on the Z and so deltas do things a little bit differently of course diameter is correct 320 millimeters in diameter but the Z height is basically it's up to the center of the build plate where the effector is so it's kind of like a cone right so anytime that effector moves in any given direction when it's at the top it kind of has to drop right so these arms have to come down and when those arms come down that means the effector is dropping a little bit so the way it works is you get this cone directly in the middle of your build volume and that's going to go down probably about 30 to 50 plus millimeters so i would say your effective z height is going to be somewhere in like the 390 380 390 somewhere around in there but anyway it is a huge build volume, enough to print helmets, and we'll be looking at that and talking about that in, 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 in a minute. But I want to talk, like I said, first about the size. It is a huge machine. Now, compared to the S1, the S1 Pro is so much quieter. That was the problem with the T1 and the S1. They were so loud. But the S1 Pro, like the T1 Pro, they've cut that volume or that sound in about half. So uh, FL Sun is claiming that with the door closed about a meter or so away, several feet away, um, it's about 55 decibels. And I would say that's correct. So um, even printing here on the bench, working over there, I had the door open while filming and it really didn't even bother me. Uh, wasn't an issue at all. In fact, I was able to take some phone calls today in the studio walking in and out and I don't think that the person on the other end of the phone um, even cared uh, that there was an S1 Pro running in the studio. Let's talk a little bit about the specs and we'll get kind of the important ones out of the way. So the effector, the hot end, has a max temperature of 350 C, which is pretty epic that we're starting to see hot ends uh you know above that 300 320 that is fantastic means more materials and so 350 c on the hot end and this thing can print print speeds no kidding 1200 millimeters per second hear that 1200 millimeters per second so a bamboo lab printer is uh, basically about 500 millimeters per second a lot of other machines on the market are 600 millimeters per second and that's kind of their max printing speeds okay so it's the same thing here right so this one has uh, up to 40,000 millimeters per second squared acceleration to match that 1200 millimeters per second print speed 
Now, on a Bamboo Lab printer, it's 500 millimeters per second. You're normally printing around 300 millimeters per second. That's where you're really kind of uh, in your safe zone, right? So that's where you're getting limited, uh, uh, you know, visual artifacts on the prints. You're not seeing, seeing ringing and uh, things look nice and clean. It's a safe spot. Now, you can absolutely push the machine faster, but you'll start to see the wheels kind of come off when you hit that 500 plus, uh, you know, millimeter per second in a Bamboo Lab machine, right? Okay, so the same thing happens in this S1 Pro, except your safe spot is between like six and eight or six and 900 millimeters per second. That is insane. So you're looking at a print that's inside that printer right now that took three hours and change for that. So that on a Bamboo Lab machine right there, that single color print would be something like six hours or more on a Bamboo Lab machine. But in this S1 Pro, you're talking three hours and change unbelievable. Now the build plate in this one, it's a single sided flexible, uh, PEI coated sheet, uh, but it has a build plate temperature of 120 C, right? So I'm loving this instead of that traditional classic 300, 100, we're getting 350, 120 on this machine. So it's more of a, a pro machine. Also, when the door is closed, you can reach temperatures in the chamber of up to 50 C, which is six. So that means you're going to be able to print a lot more materials outside of your traditional PLAs and PETGs, TPUs, and things like that. You're going to get into some engineering grade filaments and be able to print them extremely well. So it's kind of exciting. Now, as far as filament drying, right? So up here, that is not only the spool holder, but it is an actively heated filament dryer. So you can dry the filament while you're printing, which is pretty amazing. Now let's go over a couple more of the features and then we'll talk about this, which is just, it blows my mind. This is, stuff's pretty cool. It has a seven inch touch screen. And one of the things that I'm really loving about FL Sun right now and, and why things seem to have changed in 2024 and why I think the T1 Pro and the S1 Pro are hands down the best 3D printers released in 2024 is that FL Sun has spent so much time working on the user experience. The brand new FL Sun slicer that was sent to me before uh, this was released. Oh my gosh, it is just so good. So it is right up there with the with every other slicer, and it has every single feature that you'd expect. It is beautiful, sending prints, printing wirelessly right over the network. Everything works as it's expected to, and it's just such a wonderful experience. And it's really taking, uh, like I said, deltas and putting them right up there next to Bamboo Lab Core XYs. The experience is fantastic. The touch interface is beautiful. FL Sun has done a wonderful job with that interface, making everything just super intuitive, very fast, very responsive, very simple to use. Of course, it has a clipper interface, so you can remotely manage it uh, from a web browser. Um, it has a camera, so you can kind of monitor uh, those kind of things. It has spaghetti detection, which for me didn't really work very well. Um, it kept like faults triggering. There's a lot of false positives with it, so I would actually just disable it, but and hopefully they'll work on that in the future. To keep the air clean when it's printing, it has an activated charcoal HEPA filter, uh, which is kind of nice. Of course, it auto levels and it has auto Z offset with baby stepping, uh, which was kind of nice. So obviously input shaping, that's your vibration compensation, bed leveling and auto Z offset that those are all, uh, you know, automated features that we've just come to expect. But on this machine, it's fantastic. It actually has a really cool feature for power loss recovery. So it actually has a sticker on the side that said that there's a UPS included. Because this is a Delta, um, losing power becomes a little bit more complicated because the effector is being suspended in the air and the effector could crash into your, into your parts if you went without power. So it has a UPS installed. So if you do lose power, um, it can actually take the effector, re-zero it, and then it can do a gracious shutdown on the printer which is just awesome. Back to the build plate for just a moment. It actually has a smart dual zone heated build plate, right? Isn't that kind of cool? So out to 220 millimeters, it's a single zone. And from 220 out to 320 is the second zone, which is kind of awesome, very efficient. As for assembly, I didn't assemble it. Uh, Van did, my son. And it only took him about 15 or so minutes to assemble it. It was basically putting the doors on, cutting a couple of clips and uh, putting the screen on. And so super simple, I think anyone can do it but it is a team lift. So pulling it out of the box is a chore. It's big. So make sure you have space for it. Make sure you have an extra 
set of hands to pick this thing up, move it around. There is an FL Sun app now, and the app allows you to remotely manage and monitor uh, your printer, of course, and they do have the new FL Sun World. So now you're able to print directly from your app, um, just like a lot of new printers out there. So I think this is like a really cool direction that we're going with all 3D printers. Now, before we get to price, I want to talk about this helmet for a minute. You see this? This is a Bad Batch Wrecker helmet. And this was printed on this machine. Are you ready? In nine hours. That's insane. No, just think about that for a moment. A helmet like this used to be 24, 26, 28 hours, 32 hours, right? And that was actually relatively quick, right? Then we got, eventually we got some machines uh, that were kind of fast, you know, Core XY machines, a little bit faster, helmet class machines. And we got that down to like maybe 19 hours, 18, 17 hours. This machine, this is my first slice. I didn't even print the included prints first. I'm so confident with these FL Sun machines after having, this is the fourth one this year. These machines are so dialed in. I, my confidence is so high. My first print was this helmet. I sliced this up in their slicer, nine hours and change for this helmet. Now I know, because I printed hundreds of helmets and I'm really good at slicing them. I know that you give me a couple of helmets of time and I can get this down definitely into the eights and maybe even into the high seven hours. Think about that for a moment. In a 24 hour period, one day, you can get as many as three helmets. That is nuts. And and I don't think it actually looks bad. Um, there's some problems here uh, with support. So there's an issue with supports. Um, they kind of wiggled off the bottom. There's a bed adhesion issue there. I think this kind of bummed me out right here on the front. There's some scarring. Again, supports got knocked over. So it was bringing a tail of filament over, kind of scuffed up the front a little bit but i have to say um don't worry i'll get it uh we'll do a follow-up video and i know that i can get these helmets down to like seven hours and that blows my mind that you can print a helmet or get three helmets imagine an etsy store where people are printing helmets with this machine and you can crank out three of them a day versus other machines are doing one a day or one every day and a half unbelievable and now that we're done with that we've talked about that print quality is fantastic uh you're gonna be shocked when you're printing there's no there's no ringing. Um, there's no artifacts. It just prints so darn well at those speeds. It's almost unreal. When you experience a machine like this, it's almost unbelievable um, that it's moving so quick. Um, it just, like I said, it just doesn't even feel real. Now, as far as price goes, I believe for a limited time, I think it's like a 10 day window, they are selling the S1 Pro for $999. I don't even know how you can do that. A 90 pound machine that shows up in a massive box, already pre-assembled, ready to go. You just put the glass on and the interface on for just a thousand dollars, incredible. And I think it's retail price after that, uh, after the 10 days. And I believe it's from the 25th of November to December 4th, it's gonna be $9.99. After that, it's gonna be $14.99. Incredible price. I'll have my links on the screen and of course in the description. If you want to experience the fastest machines in 3D printing, I would say some of the best quality uh, with an incredible user experience, do it. It's so cool, I'm telling you. Uh, deltas are here, man. I am so excited. Now the only thing I want is like multicolor. Could you imagine 1200 millimeters per second with a multicolor system? Oh, yes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you can tell I'm excited. This is just one of the coolest machines that I've ever had here in our studios. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And let me give a huge shout out to our YouTube and Patreon members. Um, I couldn't do this without you. Thank you very much. And also, YouTube thinks uh, you might want to watch this video right here. So do me a favor. Uh, like, subscribe, and then go watch that video.